the 1-1. One, one. Angel Hernandez is in midseason form. It really brings me no joy to want to talk about Angel Hernandez again. One month into the 2021 season, and he's trended on Twitter more than once. If you're new here, I tore Angel apart in a video I made almost two years ago. It was the most viewed video I had ever made. That was up until two days ago. It was finally dethroned by a much better video in my opinion, and this was one of a list of things that created a perfect storm of excuses to make a follow-up video, but one to provide a new perspective. While Angel's skills behind the plate have not, baseball's changed quite a lot since that video was made. I think Angel Hernandez, in being the horrible, terrible, no good, very bad umpire he is, accelerated the evolution of Major League Baseball by years. And Angel's not alone in this. We can thank other umpires for this. We can even thank Major League Baseball and their replay system for this. Today, we're gonna talk about the biggest clown in baseball one final time and talk about what comes next for the game we all love. Before we do, a brief Angel Hernandez L's update. A main topic from that 2019 video was Angel's ongoing discrimination lawsuit against Major League Baseball and even Rob Manfred himself that he filed in 2017. It is my genuine pleasure to announce that on March 31st of this year, he finally lost that case. If only you could see the smile on my face. And ironically enough, this video is going to be posted exactly one calendar month after he lost that case. Poetic justice, if you ask me. So it's 2021 and Angel Hernandez is still awful. Not really that surprising, if I'm being honest. He's proven for decades that he's terrible at his job and, frankly, an arrogant person. He can have just about everybody tell him how awful he is, but still won't do anything to try and fix it. But I already ripped Hernandez apart, the umpire and the man, in that 2019 video. I told you that I was here to offer a new perspective, and that's what I want to do now. Let's start with talking about the Universal DH. I think the conversation around something as game-changing as the Universal DH evolved a heck of a lot in a pretty short amount of time. Now maybe this is just my bad memory, but I remember it being somewhat of a fringe idea not too long ago, and now we're all but guaranteed to get it starting next year. It seemed like this whole situation changed pretty quickly, especially for a sport that hasn't seen as many changes as you'd expect for a league that's been around for over 150 years. I think the next big thing coming to baseball is automatic officiating, or, as the kids like to call them these days, robot umps. Like with the Universal DH, the conversation around robot umps has evolved rapidly over the last few years too, and I think that's another game-changing move that can sneak up on us pretty soon. What? What? Get welded. Wait! I command you make me a Krabby Patty! I don't wanna... First of all, robot umps are coming. Whether it's in two years or ten, it is happening. I don't know what form that takes. I don't know if it'll be just the home plate umpire or all of them. Maybe they'll do it in increments, but it's coming. And honestly, I'm ecstatic about it. And that's the key. Me, a fan of baseball, is so happy about replacing umpires. And I know that a lot of other fans are too. Why is that? I think it's because we've been forced to sit and watch umpires, and more so this year, Major League Baseball's broken replay system blow call after call. These things, especially when they happen so frequently, taint what otherwise would be enjoyable baseball. It's become such a recurring issue that it's made people a lot angrier and much more interested in change than I've ever seen them before. It seems like almost every night I'm seeing at least two people on my Twitter timeline talk about robot umps, and that number's probably only going to go up from here. Fans aren't happy. Calls keep getting missed, games keep getting blown, and it shouldn't happen. This is an avoidable issue. I had a thought the other day. If umpires like Angel Hernandez weren't umpires at all, or even if they just weren't as bad as they are, I really don't think people would be as mad or impatient for change as they are right now. Every single umpire makes mistakes. It's human nature. But I think almost everybody can forgive them for those few mistakes. You don't see Chris Segal or Pat Hoberg trending on Twitter every night. Hell, I didn't even know who those two were before today, and I really don't think I should know an umpire's name. Every single umpire that I know the name of is horrible. Or even for a guy like Jim Joyce, who was one of the player's favorites based on a 2010 ESPN poll, I still remember him for his own horrible call. And of course for the heartwarming events that came after that, and for that sweet sweet stash looking like a tea distribution. The extreme umpires like Angel Hernandez are just such a stain on the sport that they're ruining it for everyone else. They are bad enough to bring the house down on the rest of the umpires. They are so, so bad at their jobs that they've gotten near unanimous agreement from baseball fans that they're terrible and they're ruining the game. 
everyone hates them. I just don't think the umpire's union sees that it's in their best interest to help shed the weight of guys like Hernandez, Laz Diaz, Joe West, C.B. Buckner. The automation wave is coming for them, and if they wanted to delay it, I really think they could have. Maybe a little too late for that now, though. Choosing not to fire Hernandez may be bad for baseball in the short run, but it will be great for us in the long run. Having Angel Hernandez do what Angel Hernandez does is going to mean we get robot umpires faster. The longer this drags on, the angrier people will get, the more PR problems the league has, the higher the likelihood they realize that it's time to make a change. But another potential positive from keeping Hernandez employed, and this is kind of a mean one, but getting to see Angel Hernandez get to be a human meat puppet that has to relay calls from a headset, and I imagine him having like this huge pouting face when he has to do it, like that sounds just way too satisfying. It reminds me a lot of that Black Mirror episode, where a piece of that psychopath's consciousness was tortured in a toy on loop for the rest of time. And it's no secret how bad Angel Hernandez is, he doesn't try to hide it. When you're making the kinds of blatantly, obviously wrong calls he is, as frequently as he does, when you get players to come out and publicly say how awful you are, you really are one of a kind. I don't think Angel Hernandez should be umping uh, playoff games. He's absolutely terrible. God damn! Thanks, Noob Noob. Angel Hernandez is so, so horrible that he really is putting the league on his back. He is carrying the league and running towards the finish line, and waiting for him there is his automated replacement. Robot umpires are a game changer. It revolutionizes the game way more than a universal DH would. And Angel Hernandez is so terrible that he's advanced the game by years and maybe even decades closer to that future. Having to sit through watching him for so long has been, I mean, painful as hell for all of us, but 10 years down the line, I'm gonna be chilling on my hoverboard couch, watching Francisco Lindor play short, pushing 40, and I'm gonna see a pitch on the outside corner of the plate called a strike that Angel wouldn't have called himself, and I'm gonna smile, knowing that this terrible, awful, horrendous laughingstock of a major league employee helped make it happen. I'm honestly really glad that that video was dethroned. I've wanted it to happen for a while now. I really don't like a lot of my videos pre-2020. I think if you went back and watched it and compared it to this one, you could probably tell the difference right away. And I kind of clickbaited you guys with that Joe West video the other day, so I thought I owed you for that. But now we're even. This is the last time I will ever talk about Angel Hernandez on this channel again. Now I can finally rest and watch the sunrise on a grateful channel. All right, I'm done. Um, 100,000 subscribers would be nice. And seeing as though I don't have any more of these Angel Hernandez rant videos to make, um, do the subscribe thing. And uh, yeah, that's it. See ya. I'll have, a, I'll have some speaks with that home plate umpire after the game. Would you believe that after he led the fans in song, the umpire had McMichael ejected from the ballpark?